thought I'd show you these today. They're just a couple of touch plates that I made for my CNC machine. Um, here's a video of me using them, or using one of them. Now I'm connected to part of my touch plate and then the other clip goes on my bit, just like that. This also has a little spring to it because I've crashed a lot of stuff. So this way, if it just keeps going for some reason and doesn't stop, it's got a little bit of wiggle room there. All right, so now I'm going to right click the button to find Z. It's going to move down and touch it and then jump back 10 thousandths or jump back 100 thousandths. All right, so the way these are made, they're just 3D printed. And this one, I just have a little tab that locks and I'll put the, uh, I'll put a link to the STL file in case you're interested. It's got a spring in here and then, oh, you know, actually this one I can't take apart. All right, so down at, inside of here is just a three quarter inch uh, copper cap that I just um, drilled a hole in the side of it and soldered a wire in there so that it can, move up and down right there and then it's got a heavy spring in it. I can't pull it out because I had to push it hard to get it down through there. The other one's easier. This was my first one. Then I didn't like how tall that was. So I made this one and I like it better. It just undoes like that. And so it's got that wires through that spring in there. So it's got a spring on the bottom of it. This was just a spring that I had laying around, so I just adapted it to this. And then just a piece of brass that I sanded down to fit inside that hole right there. And then just soldered, you can see I just soldered a wire to it. Then you just put it together, couldn't, couldn't be simpler. Now you'll notice on these, I've got a little number written here, and I didn't make these to an exact height. Um, I should have, but I guess I didn't think of that. And so I just um, measured it and then wrote it on the side so that when I touch off, I know that I'm 840 thousandths off of the top of my part. And so the way I figured that out was I just touched off and then came over and took my cutter and then just moved down until I was right touching on, on my part and then looked at you know how much distance I had moved and that's what it was and so I just wrote it there on the side. Did the same thing on this one. It's an, uh, an inch and three hundred thousandths to the top of it. Well I hope that was interesting to you. If you have need of something like this it may have been otherwise it, it probably wasn't all that interesting to you but either way thank you for watching.